Hi, my name is Sigbjörn and I build buildings for a living. My industry, construction, accounts for 40% of the global greenhouse gas emissions. This large number comes with an equally great responsibility to help reduce them, as well as enormous opportunities to make a difference. With the many good examples of change in the construction industry today, I'm ready to venture this assertion. If everyone made use of currently existing knowledge and technology, we could cut the greenhouse gas emissions from building by half by tomorrow. But for that to happen, we need to take stronger action. The greenhouse gas footprint of a building is affected by a number of decisions made along the way. And those decisions are influenced by a wide array of stakeholders and traditions. Overall, the industry has knowledge that could take us a long way forward. But to get there, we would need to coordinate what we know, build climate considerations into our fact base, and apply our collective knowledge towards making good choices at the right time. If everyone applied already existing solutions and technology, we could cut the greenhouse gas emissions significantly. So why don't we? First and foremost, believing is not enough. We need to actually know. Many decisions are based more on faith than on fact. Truth may not be truth forever, especially when addressing a relatively new problem. A logical choice is also not always the right choice. And all too often we miss out on opportunities because we expect others to take charge. Not a single climate issue was ever solved by saying, I thought that was the architect's responsibility. So if we don't build on fact, are we able to select the best solution? Second, decisions are made by people with different personalities, different views on climate issues and different responsibilities, which all influence the decisions they make. Risk aversion is a human trait. We are afraid of failure and tend to favor accepted truths. The construction industry today is both high risk and low margin, so we want to avoid adding new risk. Also, our personal conviction can be stubborn. We tend to see confirmation that we are right rather than admit the mistake and lose face. And often new knowledge may obstruct a business idea or a perception that has served you well over a long time. And many would rather rest to survive as they are than adapt to a future marketplace. If this is so, can we uh, expect every link in the chain to be building the most appropriate knowledge? Third, democracy has a lot going for it, but boy is it slow. Norway lives by the axioms that everybody has the right to compete on equal terms and no one should be left behind. The building code therefore aims to uh, set the bar low enough that the whole industry can pass over it. The intention may be commandable, but this is not how ambitious climate goals are achieved. So how will minimum requirements lead to massive emission cuts? Fourth, are current incentives for building green sufficient? No motor means no propulsion. To change the way we do things, we need productive incentives. It's okay to say that everybody needs to change, but to really make the real headway, we need more ambitious legislation. Fear, uncertainty and doubt, on the other hand, can dig deep ditches. Climate skeptics are a great example of how a small minority working against change receives attention that far outweighs the numbers. The most powerful engine of change is the expectation of being competitive. The belief that green solutions make us more competitive and are necessary to surviving as a business. So without a strong change engine, can we expect rapid change? Fifth, to achieve broad application of new technology, we need to share what we know 
and we suck at knowledge sharing. Secrecy is a virtue in the construction industry. We believe that our ideas will give us a competitive edge, so we choose not to share them. We also are too preoccupied with who came up with the idea. In short, you need to be somebody for people to pay attention, and we lack good channels for spreading our knowledge. I've been able to get over this hurdle because I have a broad network of industry people and, and media contacts who help me call attention to issues and solutions, but not everybody is so fortunate. And if you don't share our knowledge, how do we expect people to find it? By all means, there is hope. A lot of good work is being done and yielding great results. But to get where we should be, the industry needs to gear up efforts considerably. And for that to happen, more industry players will have to shoulder the share of responsibility. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. To show you what can be gained when you are willing to navigate these challenges, here is the Zeb Laboratory, built with my employer Veidake in my hometown Trondheim. This is a zero emission building, built with known solutions and known technology. Through collaboration between scientists, customers, contractors and consultants, and where everything we are learning is shared. This is also an arena where we invite our competitors, because there is nothing to be lost, but everything to be gained by sharing. Thank you.